Are you tired of having those boring PowerPoint presentations and ready to jazz things up? How about create a story that you've written that you'd like to add images to or share with your own narration? Maybe you have a video you'd like to make of yourself demonstrating something you know how to do. Hi, I'm Sheila Gearhart, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can make your own video presentation using PowerPoint and its recording feature. Whether you're a student or a teacher, you can use it to bring your PowerPoint presentations to life. Before we begin, let me remind you, since this is a video recording, feel free to pause, rewind, or skip ahead as you need. Are you ready? Let's get started. Here I have a PowerPoint I've created using story images. I'm now going to show you how to navigate the recording feature of PowerPoint so you can start making recordings. We will begin by clicking the Recording tab at the top of your screen. If you don't see a Recording tab, make sure you're in the offline version of PowerPoint. The Recording feature is not available in the online version. If you are in the online version, simply click Open in PowerPoint at the top of your screen. I'll show you an example of what that looks like. Here is an online version. You can also tell you're online because see how I have all my tabs open? And this is the online version. If I want to go offline, I simply click right here, open in PowerPoint, and it will take me to my offline version that you do not see those internet tabs at the top. So now I'm ready to go. Once you've clicked, the record tab at the top, you'll see that there are different tools available for you to make your recording. If you hover over each one, it will tell you a little something about it and describe what that feature will do for you. Today, I'm going to give you details how to record a slideshow. But you can see there are also other options as such as uh, screen recording, making a screenshot, adding video or audio, saving your show, exporting your video, or publishing it into Microsoft's Dream. But today, as I said, we're going to focus on record a slideshow. So we're going to press this drop-down menu from the record slideshow, and you'll see how it gives you two options. You can also clear any recordings that you may have previously, previously made and start from scratch. We're going to start from this current slide. So when I click that, you'll see how the screen changes. And now I'm going to go over the different features. This is where you actually can make your recording for each slide in your PowerPoint. And eventually, you're going to be merging each slide recording together so it will make one continuous video. Here is the button you will press to start the recording and, of course, to stop it. This allows you to play back anything that you've recorded. Here, you can create your own notes so that you can prepare what you want to say before you record yourself, saving you a lot of time. This button allows you to clear any recordings that you've made in case you want to start from scratch or you didn't like it and want to retake. The settings, if you click that, um, check into what kind of microphone you're using or camera. But they're usually default settings that are standard on your laptop or a PC. The arrow keys allow you to go, toggle from one slide in your presentation to another. That way you don't have to get out of recording mode. You can simp simply keep going one slide to the next. Down here, you have a choice. As you can see right now, this is allowing me to turn the microphone off if I wanted to and turn the camera off. And you can also set it up so that if you wanted to see yourself, you could click that and a video of yourself should pop up. There it is. Hi, here I am. Okay, let's get rid of that. So you can have a picture of yourself doing a video narration as you go, or you can simply turn it off. Down here, you'll see a lot of different colors. This allows you to create digital ink. 
here there's a pen so I can choose any color I want and as I talk I can make any uh, drawings or highlights to any part of my screen I can also uh, change the width make it a highlighter maybe I want to highlight something important I can do that as well let's say you did that and you made a mistake there is an eraser just click the eraser and it will delete each previous line that you've made it won't delete everything all at once but it will let you pick and choose what you want to get rid of or you can swipe it and get rid of everything at one time like I just did and here you can see which slide you're on and how long each slide is and then it brings you back to record so you can go through your entire presentation and record on each slide and see how long it takes you. If you don't like it, you can delete it and start again just from that slide. But you would continue until you get through your whole presentation going slide to slide. Okay, now let's say I'm done. I'm ready to merge everything together into one video. Simply close right here and it takes you back to the editor in PowerPoint. One option is to click Save as Show. This allows you to save your work as a PowerPoint presentation, but when it's opened, it will go directly to the full screen presentation, not in the editing mode, which we've been in, but it will not include any audio or video narrations you added in the recording tab. To make a video file, Instead, you're going to click Export to Video Save. Now you're given choices for the quality of your video. I would suggest keeping the PowerPoint default settings when you're creating your video. Okay, so we're going to click video, Create Video. And once we've done this, we are now going to be asked where we would like to store this file. I'm going to save mine in my videos library and call it demo. You'll also notice that some of you may have an option to save this to your personal OneDrive. If you do, this will allow you access to your video file from any device when you log into your Office 365 account. Notice too this type of file. It is a video file and it will add an extension to your file that is MP4. This identifies the file as a video file and it tells computers what format your file is in so it can be easily viewed by others. Now that we've selected our location where we want to save our file and get it anytime we want, we're going to click Save. And I already had it saved, so I'm just going to replace it. And now we can access our video from that location. It's now in the format of a file that we can send as an attachment, upload onto a website, or share with specific people if we go through our Office 365 account. So I'm going to just go to my library, go to my videos right there, and you can see it here. And if I wanted to, I could click it and watch it. I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint now and I wanted to show you another option that is available to you to publish your video that you just made and that would be clicking the publish to stream. By doing this it allows others to view your, vid view your video if you choose. You can go into Microsoft Script Stream and set special permissions for viewing. You don't have to publish your video to Microsoft Stream. That's your decision. So I'm just going to go back. And I wanted to say that I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new about creating a PowerPoint as a downloadable video that you could share with anyone. I hope it's a useful resource for you and that you now can go ahead and make lots of stories and tutorials to share with others.